DSN TV, showcasing the ability in disability. This program is brought to you by the PA People. For more information, just go to their website at papeople.com. Welcome back to the coverage of the men's final between uh, Lithuania and also China and on the Disability Sports Network uh, where you can catch us on either the audio or the audio video. Uh, now we're going to go through the team shortly. The players are just getting patched up. Uh, as I said before, I think my tip is, uh, is Lithuania. Um, I think Troy's will be Lithuania as well, but uh, Troy's just making his way in now. And then we're, go we're actually going to go through the the sides. And this, uh, Troy's uh, lost his team ship. Well, there you go. We do know, as I said, um, being broadcaster and broadcasting a lot of uh, Lithuanians before when they were playing for Sultanus in the SEGL. <coughs> Excuse me, I do know uh, a lot of the players. And I must... Uh, once again, thank uh, the IBSA Goalball Subcommittee and also IBSA for allowing us to bring you the English uh, broadcast of this event. And, uh, well, you don't see that very often. There's an Albino China player playing number five for them. And Troy's going to get his team sheet and come back in here shortly and go through the list. But we do know, we, of course, we have for Lithuania, we have... Uh, Pretty much their stable lineup with uh, Panovis, uh, Pazaruskas, uh, also Genrik, and also Zabolas uh, in the side. So we'll be interested to see how things go as uh, my uh, co colleague is uh, wandering around <laughs> trying to find things he's put down. Now, Lithuania at the far end in the yellow, and China in their traditional reds. So we've got uh, for China, we have five. Three and I'm not sure who the other person is at the moment. So, and because uh, Troy hasn't got his list, unfortunately, we can't uh, give you their their names at the moment. So, uh, but uh, you're on Disability Sports Network, showcasing the ability in disability. My name is Tony Telfer, and we're underway. First ball by China, throwing a cross court ball by by the right winger, blocked by the centre, lays it off there. Now, I believe this is Panavis on the right wing, bouncing ball, which is just flicked wide. By number three for for China, right winger now with the ball, and they've gone back to the replay of that uh, first throw by by China. We'll get some a little bit of volume in here as well, just uh, enough so that you can hear what is what is actually happening without uh, it blaring too much in your in your ear. So we're trying to get some sound effects. And there's a goal to China. It's got straight through. Uh, Straight through the centre area, centre and to the right wing. So goal, China. Score is 1-0 to China. Early on, a great start by China. So now you will hear the commentary in the background by the, the Chinese players. That we've got a replay of the throw there. Straight through the BC gap of Lithuania. Next ball is thrown by China. There's a replay. So ball back into the... Sent back to the left winger, number... Number eight for Lithuania on the right wing. Now, I believe that is uh, is Genrik. Marius Zabolas. Zabolas it is. Sorry, I do apologise. So, now we'll just, uh, I'll confirm the numbers shortly. As uh, Troy's uh, finally turned up with his information. Now, I think I've got you turned on, Troy. Okay. Well, yep. We're back and see yep, what we are. On the left Lithuania, Tony? Yes. yes, left Lithuania and they're already down 1-0. Passed across now to the Albino on the... Right and the left wing for China, a bouncing ball and blocked out on this occasion by Zabolas. Zabolas now with the the ball comes in, does a spin down the line into the centre. Now it looks like the number five on the right wing, uh, the left wing for China, goes into the centre, Who? blocked. It's chased forward there by Lithuania. Might be a ball, ball over. over. Correct, ball over. So we have got. Eight, five, and I'm just going to wait to get the other name for number four, Lithuania, if I can, and then we'll get the Chinese balls now passed back into the left winger for Lithuania. 
Winds up cross the post. Just there, straight up and over, oh. up and over the net. Gee whiz. I tell you what, there was a lot on that ball. So we can hear the referee saying, quiet, please, the background. So it looks like seven, eight, and... Well, certainly seven and eight on for Lithuania, just trying to pick up who's in the centre. Kenrick is number seven for Lithuania. So he's a bowler with the ball now. He's going across to the left wing to take this throw. Straight into the, the ribs of the Chinese player who picks it up nicely, lays it off, sends the ball back down to the centre, and that might be number five or six, I think, for Lithuania with the... In the centre, the ball now with a Chinese player, number five on the left wing, goes with a discus throw, beats a centre player, but uh, in the end blocked, laid off to Zabolas. Zabolas now on the left wing on this occasion, throws a cross-court ball. Nice piece of work there by the left winger for China. Keeps the ball out. Number five for China. So, yeah, it looks like five goes across court into the centre, but nicely picked up by... The Lithuanian centre lays the ball off now to Genrik. Genrik comes in and oh, puts goal. the ball straight out. Put the ball out though. If you if you plug in your headset, Troy, if you get your apple, then you'll be able to hear what uh, we can actually hear the referee. We can also hear the Korean commentary, but we'll talk over the top of the Korean commentary. Hope it's not too confusing for everybody, but this way you can get a little bit of the the move the move so the ball was put out there by Genrik ball has been blocked out now back in play Genrik with the ball now for Lithuania throws from almost the centre into the corner for a goal sack of the right the left winger from China went in too far and a goal to Lithuania so the scores are all tied up now at uh, one all so and uh, I believe I just saw uh, young uh, Robbie Vogt uh, on the up on there, Troy, you can move that across a bit. You can actually move that across. I've got plenty of lead. If you need to, just slide the whole lot. Yep. That's it. So Troy's now got his headphones in, so he'll actually be able to hear as well. So next ball sent down into the centre. Blocked by Lithuania. The ball now with Zabolas. Zabolas goes across. Marius Zabolas. A cross court ball, though, but picked up by. Chinese play lays it off now to the right wing, left winger goes down the line, but well blocked on this occasion. One all early in the first half, and you can see the intensity is really lifted here, Troy, with the the pace of the game between the men and the women. Oh, absolutely. The uh, Lithuanian have always had the speed, um, even back when I was in the game. Number three for China's got the ball on the right wing, throws. Hit. Now I think that was a penalty. A whistle certainly went. No, oh, they've passed the ball off, so may have been the squeak of the shoes. <clears throat> no, it is certainly, it looks like a penalty to China. And it looks like uh, there's a bolus with the ball. Sends the ball and scores. It was, the Chinese play was a penalty situation, it would have been a long ball call. We didn't actually get a long shot, but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the score is now... 2-1 uh, in favour of Lithuania after China taking the early lead, 1-0. Is that is Zabolas' second goal, Tony? Uh, it is Zabolas' second goal, yes. Zabolas, one of the power throwers. They've got a few in Lithuania, though. They've, they've got, uh, obviously, Zabolas and Genrik. They've also got uh, Panavis and Montevideus. So, but uh, Murray Zabolas, a uh, great player. <coughs> and there's a ball over to... Uh, I'm seeing the other Lithuanian number there was number five, and that's Mantis. Not the other one you know, the other one. Um, Not Panavis? No. So this is Mantis, and we're calling his first name. So Mantis in the centre. There's a great ball by the... Oh, is, that, is that a goal? No, it was blocked down. Blocked mm. down by the, from the left winger out on the right-hand side of the court. So right across to the goal line, basically. A nice... Which is, gets the feet. They had it well covered, but the... Oh, uh, it's a bowlers. It actually hit the upright. <coughs> hit, mm. the, hit the upright. And went out. The next ball, a cross-court ball is out. Ball will come back in now to... This is uh, Genrik with the ball now. Genrik for Lithuania, number seven. Aiming at a cross-court ball, but blocked wide. Number five now for China. On the left wing. Goes with a discus throw, cross-court ball. A bit of skipping it. Reminds me of Kevin Frew with long hair. Goes across court, though. 
There's a bowl. Uh, Genrick now with the ball. Aiming for the AB gap. Doesn't get through on this occasion. It's a really big swinging motion that uh, Genrick's got there, isn't he? he? In a way, he faces his own goal before he releases. Yeah, he does. And that was number three for China now. I'm not sure who that was, whether it was you, who? Uh, you, I believe. You, and the cross-court ball there by Genrick once again into the centre. The centre does the chasing. Lays it off now to the number five for China. Comes in now. Ball into the centre. Mantis covers up nicely. Lays the ball off now to Zabolas. Zabolas now. Sends the ball down. Bit of a fracture. And just pushed wide. Fantastic work there by uh, you on the right wing. So number five for China is huge, honey. And number three is Yang. So Yang is on the right wing. Who is on the left wing? Do they have a number for the centre? Not at this stage, no. They tend to sit down a lot, so it makes it very difficult to get them. Mantis with the throw now. Aiming for that gap. Picked up by Yu. Yu goes back into the centre. Wow. Quick return again. Ball over. Basically. Unbelievable pace. One, one bounce basically just before the halfway line before it came back. Yeah, they're sensational. I do apologise. Just need to loosen <laughs> my vocal cords. There might be a whistle too. Yeah, just waiting to see. There it certainly was a whistle. Number three throwing it. And well, I think that might be a penalty. No, no penalty. So just a line out. Cross court ball on this occasion. That's a goal. Oh, man, it's off the back and into the back of the net. They all scrambled. Very sloppy defence there by China. It was China. Re and you can see the frustration on uh, on Hugh's yeah, face there. Yeah. He was very frustrated. It wasn't his ball. It should have been. Centers, it should have been picked up by the centre. But Lithuania. Oh, they're a very very talented side. And. Uh, if they kept this bunch together, I would be very afraid of men's teams around the world because these guys are all power. He, uh, if he actually hit Hugh when he was still upright a little yep. bit. So and that's the ball climbed him. Yeah, so there you go. The next ball is blocked out. So, look, with the one who got away to a flying start here. Anyway, we've got uh, Wang with the ball. Sends the ball down the line. Picked up by Genrick. Genrick now. Goes across court. A flatter ball into the corner. Yes, magnificent ball. Beat everybody. Beat everybody. Oh, that's just, just great goal ball. Yeah, look, you don't see throws like that very often. I hope they show a replay of this. Uh, and listeners and viewers, take a look at this replay of where this ball finishes up. There's a timeout for Lithuania. So I'd imagine they will show us a replay of that last goal. Absolutely sensational. Here we go now. This is Genrick's ball. Not a lot of pace on it, but... So yep. the, uh, Hugh, Hugh got sucked right in. But he, should, he got to his hands, actually. He's actually hit it into the corner, so he mm. actually should have got that with his hands. It should have been stopped, but as you say, what a fantastic ball. Look, I think he's actually over counteracting for his centre. He's worried about his centre. He's going in too far. Yep. That's what, what happened with his last goal when it climbed him. Yeah, we saw the same thing, or didn't see the same thing in the, in the previous game between uh, Israel and China where Ben David had faith in her wingers, and you've got to have faith in your wingers on court. Mm -hmm. Hugh with the ball now. Hugh or Hugh? I'm not sure which Hugh. one it is. Hugh. 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 Bouncing ball, aiming for the centre, but Mantis is there. Lays the ball off uh, to uh, Zol, um, Zabolas. <laughs> Zabolas sends the ball down, but blocked by Hugh on this occasion. Hugh now on the left wing. Winds up again going across court, but... Uh, Easily picked up and blocked by Mantis. Lays it off now to uh, Zabolas. Zabolas again. A hard ball down the line. Picked up by Yang. And that I think that's going to be called a high ball. Or is it a ball over? I'm waiting to see. No, it's not a ball over. The whistle is before the ball over. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Um, China's the number three, <coughs> I don't think, is happy with it. No, look. Uh, it could be a... Yeah, the substitution's that, getting ready. They're getting ready, yes. I can see number five look like they're going to be coming off, and that's by... And, um, but it is a penalty situation. And it out. And he's pushed the ball wide. That's, and that was the bowlers. Yeah, and that was before the defending line. So yep. 
not the best of throws. No, it's a case of rushing it, but it looks like there's going to be a substitution for China. And Zhu's off. He's gone. He's, he's already on the bench. And number one <laughs> is coming in for China. So five out and one in. So, and look at that. That's, that's, that's not a good throw. No, it's ordinary. He that's had the ordinary. entire half of the court to get the ball in. Yep. So, and the pressure's not on Lithuania, so I don't know why they did that. No, look, uh, as I said, Troy, I can't give you an answer to that. But uh, anyway, so one has come onto the court. Haven't still haven't got the, the centre number for uh, China. Uh, no, when I haven't got the who number one is for China. Please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was Troy, a bit, was it? <laughs> yeah, number one's on. No, number one's come on for who? Uh, Zabolas now yeah. sends the ball into the new player. Uh, is that number four for China in the centre, I think? Well, the number one for China is Seho. Seho. So Seho's on the left wing. Ball now with uh, a bouncing ball into the centre. Quick return by the centre for China, but uh, well covered up on this occasion by uh, Zabolas, it is. And they're uh, confusing with the running and almost, well, <laughs> I do apologise, folks. That they gave us an angle which Confu just as um, confused, even us. confused everybody <laughs> because he took off running and the Chinese players started moving, but they had a shot of the Chinese players, so we couldn't tell where the ball went. I do apologise. As uh, you will be aware, we're doing this from uh, King's Castle. In Sydney, Australia. So, there's a ball that's been thrown out on this occasion, but uh, there's plenty of time for China. They don't need to panic. No. Seho with the ball now for China on the left wing. No, there's going to be a timeout for. No, it's actually something else. It's not a timeout. I'm waiting to see what's happening here. So it's an official time. Seho with the ball. It's a penalty. A penalty situation, and it looks like it is. Uh, Zabolas to defend, and they've thrown oh. the ball out wide. Only just, but not yep. far. No, it was would have been in the in the uh, probably about a, a meter before the goal, and it just uh, skipped outside the right hand post as they were looking at the C corner. So lucky on that. It was a nice ball too. Good ball. It, it certainly had beat the it had beaten Zabolas. Was number eight defending. Yeah, Zabolas, who was the defender, so certainly beat him. Anyway, now we've got uh, um, a China right winger throwing a cross court ball. Ball picked up now by Lithuania. Goes with the disc as a cross court ball. Blocked wide on this occasion. Centre player hardly moving for China. They've got that strange defensive style. And, well, you look, a lot of sides have got that now. Things have changed since we played Troy and when oh. we used to do the three legged stance. Absolutely. It's. Uh not a style I, I would uh, pick myself. No. Next ball. Into the centre for China. Picked up by Seho. Seho sends the ball straight back at the C corner, but blocked wide on this occasion. Genrik's going to receive the ball. Genrik on the left wing. Ball held high above his head. Bouncing ball. Wow. But it's out all the way. Big bounce, but. <laughs> yeah. so I, think, I think he was lucky he was out. Yeah. This ball is... Uh, now, I've forgotten who you said was on the right wing. It's the uh, the three, Troy, for China. Sure, I think it's me, but uh, Yeah, I think you're probably right. Uh, as I said, we do apologise. We don't have them on the sheets in front of us. It is Yang. Number three for so China we've got is Yang. Seho and Yang, and we've just got to work out who the centre player is for China. There's a ball by Genrik into the centre. Beats the centre player pick forward. It might be number six, actually. China got a number six try as the ball's been blocked out over the sideline, so that'll be a ball over. Number six is you. Why you? So I think it might be you in the centre. We'll go with that for the time being. And uh, I almost had a look then, and then I couldn't quite see through Troy. But that's all right. I'm not having a shot at your zip, because I know you were looking at the same thing that I was looking at. The ball with Zavolus. Zavolus now. A cross-court ball. And uh, so Yang, Yang with the ball. And then, oh, bounces a high ball, but out straight away. Look, there's the. Don't need to panic. There's plenty of time remaining. And uh, time substitution for Lithuania. Substitution. So it looks like Mantis is coming out. Number eight is out. So Zabolas has come out. Well, this will be interesting. Are they going to bring in? Uh, 
I wouldn't mind betting it might be Panavis. Or, uh, yeah, no, it might, might be on Panavis, but it doesn't look like Panavis, having seen him. But then again, he could have had a haircut since I last saw him, because it was uh, almost 12 months ago that I did see him. So we'll see who it is in uh, one moment. Now, I can't see, but it, I think it's uh, number one, actually, Troy, for Lithuania, as uh, Yang with the ball now for China on the right wing, goes in a cross-court ball into the centre. Chased there by Panavis. Uh, by um, Mantis. Next ball. A flat ball into the back of the net. Goal! The left winger. And it is number one who's come on. Monte Davis. Monte Davis. Yep. They had a left winger for China, didn't they? No, no. So very poor defence. No, he's done his job now. First, uh, guy, first throw in the final. Goal. Something more. Almost sit off now. <laughs> That's it. So, and it was a great ball too. And so we're, they're showing us a replay of the Chinese goal. <laughs> Next ball into the centre, but picked up by uh, Yu who lays it off now to Wang. Wang goes down the line and pushed wide by uh, Genrik. Genrik with the ball now for Lithuania. On the left wing. Bouncing ball. Ball pushed back down court, but pushed wide. Ball will be back in now, dropped back into the right wing, and it looks like it will be Montevideas with the ball. We've got a shot of the Chinese. That's number three in the centre. Number three now in the centre, yes. So, well, I told you I could have been wrong. Number three is Yang in the centre. So we've got Yang in the centre. We've got Seho on, Seho on the left. Yeah, not sure. And that's a, we've got a penalty now, and it's Montevideo's to defend. Oh! Now he's and missed it, but he did have a good try. Yeah. Goal to China. Now that's something interesting. You don't see this is the new term, Tony. He defended that right up on the high ball line. Yeah, you're right, Troy. We did see that a couple of times. I saw that with China early on. Let's have a look at this ball as we look at the replay now. Great, long great ball. ball. And it was literally, they went for the bread and butter, and a great attempt. He was only probably a foot from the sideline when it went past him, so it was a oh, great effort. Absolutely. And a pinpoint throw. We've got Seho with the ball now for China. China coming back. Bouncing ball, aiming for Montevideo. And Montevideo is equal to the occasion. Off, off Mantis, back to uh, Montevideo. Montevideo now, rather. Goes down the line. Seho does the chasing. The ball's out. Passes it back to his centre. Which is Yang, didn't you say, in the Correct. centre? Correct. Yang in the centre. Sends the ball back down to the centre, but laid off this time to Montevideo's again. Montevideo's goes across court. Up and over. Now, Tony, the score, I've lost count of the score. Uh, the score is now, as I've just had up there then, it was five goals to two, I believe, is what it is. But they did just have it a moment ago, but it's uh, been taken down, so... We'll uh, certainly find out. On the days, passes the ball off to Genrik. Genrik walks across. And halfway between the centre and the sideline on the left-hand side of the court, goes down the line. Picked up, thought about the quick throw there. Did, uh, Yang didn't do it. They sent the ball back to uh, centre, who lays it off again. Set ball now back with, my, uh, with uh, Genrik. Genrik steps outside the court, brings the ball in with a lot of power. But the ball doesn't get through. Sent back to the centre. And look at the ball over. <laughs> it actually it, didn't bounce on there half the court. No, it's hit, uh, it's hit Mantis in the chest and uh, landed over the halfway line. So <laughs> look, at the, look at that. Next ball has been pushed out by uh, the defence of the Lithuanians. Waiting for the ball to come back in now. So looks like it's Genrik. Genrik on the left wing. One of the champion throwers. A cross court bowl. But uh, Shu with the ball now. Goes across. Xiao Shu goes across. Aiming for that gap. Into the centre. Time out. Lithuania has been called. Well, there you go, Troy. Look at. Look, just talking about the defending, defence and standing style, I see that the, each player's got their own little different ones. Mm. The China centre player, he is really low down to the ground as you were talking about that new defence stand, basically sitting on the bum 
basically in really low, but his wingers have got different types themselves. Yeah. Lithuania is the same. Yeah, very true. You're listening to Disability Sports Network showcasing the ability and disability, bringing you the gold medal game from the IBSA World Games, the gold ball tournament between Lithuania and China. Proudly brought to you by the PA people, and we must thank the... Um, IBSA Gold Ball Subcommittee and also IBSA for allowing us to do this here as well as the uh, Korean uh, people who are bringing you the pictures as I said without them and that's the half time with Lithuania leading 5-2 5-2 yeah so there you go um, it's either 5-2 or 5-3 powerlifting, 10-pin bowling, um, chess. chess, all of those. So, look, that, that's fan fantastic as they uh, look like they're about to get ready for the second half. So we'll bring back the the sound. You'll hear the Koreans talking in the background. But as I said, to try and bring you a little bit of the atmosphere. And uh, actually, the scoreboard says 6-1. Yeah, the scoreboard does say 6 1 2. So that's interesting. Hmm. The uh, score that was on the TV screen was 5, five one. 2. 5 2, yes. Yeah, and we'll try to definitely score two goals, I thought, but. Anyway. Now. And. Yeah. I think there was a substitution there for China, but we couldn't read the Korean writing. Yeah, you might be right, so too, but we can see. I think it. Korea is still playing for China. And we've still got, uh, well, we've still got uh, Mantis in the centre, I believe, for Lithuania. Anyway, next ball sent down to the centre, the right left winger now for China with the ball. Sets himself, winds up, sends the ball, a cross court ball into the centre. That looked like, still looks like Mantis in the centre. Lays it off to uh, Montevideus. Montevideus now goes down the line goal. and goal. Beat in the centre and uh, well, straight down the line it was. Hit the post and went in. Yeah, look, as a, as a right winger, that is probably the greatest throw a right winger can do. And I speak personally as a right winger. <laughs> um, certainly nowhere near that. Never was anywhere near this replay. quality. Oh, look, look at that. At that. Oh, Sensational. Great line ball, straight down the line. Hit the post and went in. Yep, you can't get it any better than that. But, uh Poor defence there by the centre, the, the winger. You should have had that one covered. Now, oh. there's another goal, but we were actually seeing a, a replay. Okay, so, we don't. so, we'll have a look and see what's actually happened because they actually were showing us a replay of it. So, I do apologise, folks, but you would have seen exactly the same thing that we saw. And it was, and it was Lithuanian goal. Yes. Anyway, the next throw by China has been blocked out onto the right hand or the left winger has the ball now for Lithuania goes across court, aiming for the centre the flicks forward, bounces down in front of the winger picks it up on the, about the second or third bounce, goes across court and uh, both player ball finish off over the sideline almost taking out the official So by turning my count it's 7-2 to Lithuania uh, Yes, yeah. so we'll get confirmation certainly Lithuania are well in front as we've got now uh, I think this is Wang with the ball, bouncing ball into the centre. And again, it's another ball over. They're, just, they're having shots above the... Oh, so I can't actually see who it is, but the it looks like it's actually five in the centre still for... Lithuania it is. Lithuania. Six in the centre for... For China, six and three. Six has just been substituted off. That's why he was walking off. Oh, there you go. So, okay, so we've got a sub, so six has sat down. Well, put yourself in the Chinese position, Troy. What do you do here? Um, sorry, I was just looking at the number. Number two is going on for China. Let me just gra grab who that is. And the number two for China is Kai. C A I. Kai. So Kai's on. And that's so the women's China team watching over from the stand. Yeah, look, they've got their iPads videoing frantically too. You can see that. So, anyway, here we go. Now this looks like Genric. it is, no, uh, I think it might be, I think there might have been a substitution. I think it finds the bowlers might be back on. Okay. Um, anyway, the back is in the centre now to Kai. Kai with the ball. Once it goes down the line and pushed wide. Wait till we get a close-up of it. 
who it is. It's certainly not the number seven of six. Genric. So six it might be. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, it is actually. It's either six or eight. I think it's eight. I think it's uh, Zabolas who's back on. Okay, if it's six, it's Panovas. Panovas, yeah. Panovis. We'll have a look and see. Now, I will know with Panovas, he always wears these very extremely leery shoes. There's a chance there, but no. Diffused by, uh, by China. Right winger now. Yu goes across court. Bouncing ball into the centre. Laid off now. Now, this... Uh, this actually might be Panavis. Panavis might be on now. I think you, you'll find it might be Troy. Um, certainly doesn't look like Zavolas. Bouncing ball into the centre, off the feet. On this occasion, picked up. Uh, yeah, it's number six on the on the left wing. Yeah, so it is actually uh, Panavis. And but the ball was thrown on that occasion by Montevideos. Ball pushed out wide on the left wing, and now for China, bouncing ball. Aiming for that gap between A-B. Ball laid off to Montevideos. Montevideos on the right wing. Goes across court. Ball pushed wide by... Uh, I think you've got Wang on that uh, wing. Correct. So Wang on the... Uh, and Sorry, Yang. I think it's Yang. Yang. Yang, is it? Yeah, Yang. Do apologise. And we do apologise for any of our listeners who say, well, they're getting the names wrong. Well, I'm sorry, but it is going to happen. Yeah, it is. Um, Confirm Yang. And I think that it's either out or a penalty. And I'm just waiting to see what it is. And, uh, blocked out. Number one. No, yeah, it is. It's a, which is Shao Shoa. Shaho. Shaho. And, yeah, it is a penalty situation. And it was a goal, yeah. And, uh, well, Panavis didn't even move. Yeah, so he a good throw, ran out to the right from the centre and then threw it back at the A post. So uh, wrong footed him. Mm. But lazy defence. Not even an effort. Uh, when I was coaching, I must admit, I don't care if players miss the ball, but I hate it when they don't make an effort. So, but anyway, they're in, they're in a situation where I guess at the moment they can get away with it. Lithuania, they're, they're certainly well in front. So 7-3 by our count. Panavis now goes across court into the centre and pushed wide. This, now, there should be Sh Shao who will take this ball for China. It's going to be dropped in on, on his wing unless there's been the movement. There's back and forth, but no, he did take the throw. Goes down the line, and I think that may be a penalty situation as well. The whistle has gone. He's wandering across the yep. centre. Number one, number one is a penalty. So, Seho is a penalty situation. Now, interesting to see who they give the ball to. Number one. And, uh, well, Montevideos has the ball. Montevideos now throws the ball. It's been blocked. What great work by uh, Shaho. Fantastic work, considering he defended that at the six-metre line. Now, I think that's what helped him, because he fractured it, and it gave him a chance to stand up, run after it, and then block it out again. Mm. So I think that was the difference maker, yep. defending it up at the high ball line. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, great work. Next ball. Panavis... Um, Montevideo uh, sends the ball back, and a high ball has been called again. I think you'll find. No. No. Might just, must have just been blocked out. As I said it's a close up at the present time, so cross court ball sent by Panavis up and over the back of the net. Flicked up and over on this occasion by Mantis. And uh, cross court. Well, there's another fracture down that end there, but again, has gone uh, wide. That was uh, Kai from China in the centre there throwing. Next ball. Now, this is Yang. Sends the ball down, picked up and thrown wide by Panavis. Lithuania don't need the panic. They're, they're rushing. They're, China are working them into their way of playing at the moment. Well, I think that's how just they play Lithuania. They always play a quick game. Posting out there for China. They've hit the, hit the right-hand post of Lithuania and it's gone out. The right-hand wing was nowhere near it too, so just I just missed there. Montevideos comes in now and throws from the right wing, goes for the a -B, a B C gap, doesn't get through. The ball now is with Kayo from China. Sends the ball back into the centre. Montevideos, uh, man just picks it up, lays it across now to Panavis. Panavis now, bouncing ball, but into Kai. Kai does the chasing. Lays the ball off now to Yang. Yang with the ball. Sends the ball, aiming for the BC gap. Doesn't get it. Off uh, 
Panovas doesn't do the chasing. It's a, it looks like it's a ball over. No, it's been passed back across to Panovas. Now he takes its throw. Yang on with the ball now. Right wing for China. Goes across, called bouncing ball and into the back of the net. No. no. Oh, just Locked off out. the post and out. So, Montevideo now with the ball for Lithuania. Goes across court into Yang. You know, both uh, keen to chase the ball, but finish off laying the ball off to Sheho. Sheho on the left wing goes across court. It's a flat ball. Picked up by Panavis. Sends the ball straight it's back. Goal. It's a loose pass and off and into the back of the net. Great work there by Panavis. That's bad defence because he did a quick return, not back at the player that threw it. Yep, that's right. He went the other way. So good work there by uh, Mantis uh, Panavis. And uh, as I said, uh, very tame. He normally has the extremely bright, uh, bright green shoes on, but not today. Very um, up and over the centre's feet of China there. Yeah, look, they caught out of position. So. Pen uh, now, is this a penalty? I've just had a look at... There was only one player walking across, so looks like it's going to be substitution for China shortly. I think it's a penalty. Yeah. And defended. And defended. So I'm not sure what the penalty was for, but uh, penalty defended there by China. And, and uh, look, in all seriousness, Troy, it wasn't much of a throw. No. It was at the centre. Um, anyway, Yang with the ball now for China. Sends the ball down into the centre. Panavis now picks it up on the left wing. Runs in towards the centre. Keeps going that way. A bouncing ball. Kayo picks it up. Goes with a quick return for China. Ball picked up by Mantis. Lays it back to Montevideos. Montevideos now on the right wing. Comes in a cross-court ball. Picked up there by Yang. Yang goes across court. This time it's fractured forward off uh, both Mantis and Montevideos. And the ball goes forward out on the right-hand side of the court. Montevideos now. Now with the ball as we go to a quick replay here so now not sure what has happened here but we've got a shot of uh, Lithuania we've got China in their defensive position so we were at a replay when that happened so I'm not sure we do have uh, Panavis with the ball Panavis goes down the line and just pushed wide on this occasion by Yang he stole my throw, ran out to the centre and back at the corner. Yeah, and ball put out by Yang straight away. So, again, with, with Panavis. This time he goes with a bouncing ball, aiming for the AB gap. Doesn't get through. But uh, it's a line out called. Must be getting close towards the end of the, end of the game. Yeah, look, uh, quick throw there goes down. Well, Not a lot on so it, though. Given up. They, <laughs> they just pushed the ball back down the court then. Yes. Panavis with the ball. Winds up now, goes across court ball into Yang. Not even no. chasing with any no. No any much. energy anymore, China. Next ball into the centre. Mantis has done a great job in the centre for Lithuania. Great high one ball pass now to um, Mantavadeus. Mantavadeus goes down the line, blocked forward by Sheho. Sheho goes back and collects his own ball. Comes in now from the left wing. That's a high ball. The high ball has been called. That's a shame because it went in the back of the net too. Yeah. High ball called. Who's going to take this? Montevideo isn't giving it up for anything. Well, Montevideo, if you don't hit the right spot, I don't think you should take another penalty. We saw two of them went down the middle. Now he's going to the other side of the court. And he's got it. And he's got this one here. About a metre in from the yep. right hand post. Much better throw. Kept the ball away from the centre. And he actually took it from the wing. There was mm. a difference where the others he threw from the centre. Yeah, he, he moved across there, didn't he? He moved across to the. So, and it's going to be a substitution, as we can see. The excitement getting ready to come on. It looks like, by my guess, it might be number three, which might be Pazaruskas. Uh, it might be Eustace Pazaruskas, I think, but. Uh, that's his name. It is? That's his name, whether it's, it's he comes on or not. Mm. He is number three. I saw him jumping up and down, getting extremely excited. Maybe he's just uh, trying to drop the hint to the coach. <laughs> Shea well, we've all been there. <laughs> yeah, Shea now for China sends the ball across court. Picked up uh, by Panavis. Panavis goes around Mantis and hooks it back. It's up and it's off the crossbar and lands back in court. Picked up by Sheho. Goes with a quick return back to the centre. And the ball this time has been blocked out. Yeah, Tony, top left-hand corner, I think, is the clock. 
Uh, it is. Top left-hand corner says... No, that's actually not. It actually says the date. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... And uh, I can let everybody know that today is uh, the, uh, whatever date it is, the 17th, 17th of May. Gee, the year's getting away, Troy, isn't it? It is. Now, there has been a substitution, and now that actually is uh, Panavis coming on now, so it can't have been, that must have been Zabolas before. I went with Troy's call on the six, but the six and eight look very similar. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, Sheho now for China sends the ball back into the centre. At, but it didn't look like it's a bowler's either, so I, I must admit, Troy, I'll, uh, I'll wear that. Either that or the bowler's has just come back on now. Oh, anyway. Then again, it may just have been a blindfold check, I think, because I don't, I don't, think, there was a don't sub. think there was a sub. So there you go. Anyway, Mantis with the ball now in the centre, lays the ball off to Montevideos. Montevideos now on the right wing. Great ball down the line, picked up by Sheho. He hasn't given up, sends the ball back into the centre. Mantis does the chasing up to the high ball line, bounces it back now. Panavis bouncing. Oh, but picked up there by Yang, Yang on the right wing for China goes back into the centre but Panavis stops it as cool as you like he knows that the gold medal is theirs goes with a discus spin doesn't get out of his team area up and oh just wide Sheho managed just to keep that ball out of the back of the net great work by Sheho on the left wing for China comes in now cross court ball throws the ball out though Montevideos He's going to take this ball. He's not going to pass it off to anybody. So we've got a shot of the Chinese number five there. Ball thrown back by China. Is, and just pushed wide and out of the court by Panavis. Panavis now goes with a traditional throw. Straight to the centre. Chased by the centre for China. He's going to take the throw himself. KO. KO now. Goes with a discus throw. He's got this big high fracture. But... Uh, Mantis does the chasing, lays it off to Montevideos. Montevideos now. Bouncing ball into the centre. Picked up by Ko. Goes with a quick return. Now there's a quick return where the ball came from, but it's been blocked out and it's a line out. It's going through the motions now, winding down the clock. Montevideos now. Cross-court ball. Just a bit too much on it. Sheho now with the ball. Goes with a discus throw. Cross court ball, but into the centre. Mantis is there. Lays it off now to Panavis. Panavis goes around behind uh, Mantis. Takes a throw from the right wing. Hooks it back to the left wing. Fraction forward. Chase to the high ball line by KO. Lays it off now to Wang. Wang goes down the line, but Panavis. Uh, no, it's a goal. Panavis, I thought he was there, but no, didn't get there. Into the back of the net uh, there by Yang, which is a great effort. And I'll give you an update as soon as I can, as soon as we get a score update. China do look the resolve to the resign to the fact. So as we look at this ball here now, Troy. A great, great ball down the line. Poor defence there. Panavis didn't stretch out. Good uh, half a metre, his feet were in from the line. Yep, that's it. Panavis now with the ball, cross court ball, but into the centre. KO does the chasing for China. Going to take the throw himself, goes back. No, he doesn't. He lays it off at the last second to uh, to shake to the right left winger Sheho from Bullpen. So time out for Lithuania. Um, so we do have we have uh, Panavis, Montevideos, and also uh, Mantis on court. Um, Interesting to see what the time remaining is. We'll try and if they do show us, uh, which they may do during the break, we'll let us know. We are on Disability Sports Network, showcasing the ability in disability. Proudly brought to you by the PA people and with the great support of the IPSA Gold Ball Subcommittee and also IPSA allowing us to bring you the English uh, call of this uh, these finals between or from the... Uh, 2015 uh, IPSA World Games in Seoul, Korea. So a big thank you to everybody involved uh, in allowing this to uh, 
us to bring this to you as the next ball is thrown into the centre. Picked up by Keo. Does the chasing, lays it off now to Shea. Shay, Shayo, is it on the... What was he his name? Number one. I can't remember. He sends it into the centre. Shayo. Shayo. Lays it off now. Now, this is Montevideus. Montevideus starts outside the court. A cross-court ball. It's got through... Oh, no. Luckily, in, off uh, KO into Wang. Wang now. Sends the ball down. Scored with down the line, and I don't know why he's gone into the centre. Anyway, Mantis does the chasing. Lays it off now to Montevideus. Montevideus throws almost from the centre into Wang. Wang with the ball now. Oh, about uh, three feet in from the side. Goes down the line but throws the ball out. Out very, very early. So it, uh, now we're looking to see. Uh, did you see it? Uh, one minute and two seconds remaining. One minute to go. And the score is... Uh, now that looks like 10-3 uh, to Lithuania. There you go. So 10-3 is the score line at present. It's, it's, it's up on the screen now. So, anyway, Panavis with the ball now. On the right wing now. He's changed wings with Montevideus. Sends it to Yang. Yang sends it straight back, but into the centre. Mantis picks the ball up, lays it off now to Panavis. Panavis now winds up. Sends a ball across court into the centre. KO. Quick return on this occasion. Troy, highlights in this uh, game so far for you? Uh, Panavis has uh, did really well. Uh, sorry, Mantis, sorry. He's done really well on that wing. His throwing is just uh, on the mark, going, going down those lines much better. Hang with the ball now for China. Aiming for the B, C. Ball blocked forward. And uh, Montevideus with the ball now on the other side. Throws a cross court ball. China have given up the ghost by the look of it, I would suggest, as we're winding down now. In the, only one second to go in the game, and gold medal has gone to Lithuania with a 10-3 victory. Fantastic performance, Troy. Oh, absolutely. Look, one of the things I picked out of that, too, is in Lithuania never really took the um, foot off the pedal, basically, all the way through with their throws, defence, the whole thing. They were well in front. And they, yep. they, they, they could have taken the, the pressure off themselves, but uh, they, didn't, they didn't do that. They kept on going. And the thing that I like is they didn't put people in there for the sake of putting people in there. No. Which they could have done in the end. Mm. But uh, they're very much uh, orientated about winning. And I'll tell you what, well, both China in men's and women's and Lithuania and Israel have, of course, booked their trips for Rio. And uh, for the others, well, it's on to another event later on in the year, I think, in China to, for the regional qualifiers, certainly for the Asian region, and there'll be others for uh, the European qualifiers, I think, still to come. But, um, yeah. No, very, very good tournament all the way through, Tony. Look, it was. It was sensational. And um, as I said, it, it was a, a lot of fun. And I, I really, I just said, Victor, we can't thank IBSA people enough for, for their support in allowing us to bring this to you because uh, uh, without them we wouldn't be able to um, to bring it to you and I, and I trust you've enjoyed the, the coverage uh, uh, if you've got any queries let us know at uh, Troy or Tony at uh, dsn.net.au or on our Facebook pages or if you know us and you can contact us directly um, fantastic gesture there by the Chinese men bowing to the to the crowd for their support um, they look pretty subdued for some of the team who's just won the, the gold medal, don't they? <laughs> they look very subdued. All right, um, we're not.